So we're here today with uh, Steve Jenowick at Capital Studio C for Mixed with the Masters to explore going from a stereo session into Dolby Atmos. Well, I know Carolina way back in the hills. So this is a record uh, I did this past summer. It's an artist named Stacy Grisback. This is a song called White Lightning. It's an, actually an old George Jones song that uh, we've done a jazz arrangement of. White Lightning. <laughs> When I get into the mix, because now this reverb is coming out a million places, I, I'll probably have to adjust the levels, right. but that's part of mixing. This does not port right over. You don't take a stereo mix and go whiz bang computer stuff and suddenly you have an Atmos mix. You actually have to mix it. I asked my old pappy why he called his brew. Why? The more transient your source is, the closer you keep it binaurally. It has nothing to do with where you put it in the room. More ethereal, less transient stuff, you can start pushing it out in the binaural. Ooh, white lightning. A solo I probably don't want in dead center. So a solo, what I might do is something, you know, not given an object, put it in the front augs. We can kind of pull it into the room this way. A little bit in the side forward, the side back, which is actually the side speakers. We all want to do Atmos mixing. We all want to do it in our own studios. You can do it in your home studio. There is some investment you have to make. There's some minimums you have to have. You can do it on one computer. You use Adobe Audio Bridge and Pro Tools. It all works seamlessly. 